Hi everybody, it's me, Matthew, from the Rhodes Business School. This is the very first flush of what the KFC video interventions are going to look like for the e-learning thing. I'm going to do this myself. The idea is to show you the general effect and the conclusions that I've come to so far. I've been sent the KFC uh, master's disk of PowerPoint slides. I think some of them are a bit light to get the full effect in the use of uh, video streaming. We want good contrast. I th also, at the outset, I'd like to keep this very simple. And so what we're going to have as we go along is an idea of, well, maybe we can develop things. I'm basically saying we'll have a starter that um, has the KFC pictures on it and everything after that. The main content will be just on KFC livery not involving any pictures etc with the video intervention going along and then at the end we would put the KFC tail advert to it. I'm also trying to keep them quite simple so let's see how it goes and then you can give me some feedback. So the lecture would go something like this. Hi I'm Matthew Lester from the Rhodes Business School in Grahamstown. Over my career I've seen a lot of students fail and this in many cases is not because that they are doff or that they haven't worked hard enough, they've put in a lot of hours. The bottom line is they are not organized properly and they're not getting their exam technique right. So what we're going to do is have some simple ideas that I guarantee you that if you follow this you are improving your chances of passing by 10 or 15 percent. So watch me now and see how we go with the very first tip. So here we go. And it's introduced by Chris Gale. Why? The creeping run rate in cricket also applies to exams. People get behind on their studies. So let's view it this way. We've got a cricket match and we have to score 160 runs in 20 overs. That's eight runs per over, a tall order. So are exams. And we go out there and we start off slowly. Five runs and over for the first five overs and the creeping run rate goes up just a little bit. We've then got to score 135 runs at nine runs per over. Hey, the target is mounting, but it's still achievable. Maybe we'll make it if we have a Chris Gale. So we then carry on and we score five runs per over for the first 10 overs. And we see, whoops, by over 10, we have gone to a run rate of 11 runs per over. And unless Chris Gale hits it right out of the park and gets extremely lucky, the game is over. And the same thing applies to students in exams. Just watch this and see how we go. Say you want to do 200 hours of study in preparation for your exams. That, if you've got five courses, is 40 hours per course. In other words, one working week. If you start preparing for your exams as early as 1 August, and we write on the 15th of November, it's going to require about two hours per day, every day. And that's feasible. It's possible. But everybody says, hey, come on, man. August is still fun time at universities. We've got intervarsities. There's lots of social stuff. So I'll leave it and I'll concentrate on doing my studies when it gets to the fourth term. But watch what happens. So we say, right, we're going to leave this all now till 1 October. We've still got 47 days left, but then you are going to have to study four hours per day, every day to achieve the 200 hours. And that's starting to build stress. Now, believe you me, I've been in this game a long time. More students fail because they are stressed out and can't think straightly than that they haven't put in the effort. You've got to keep the stress off yourself when you are preparing for exams. So keep the stress off and you've got a chance. Get overly stressed in your preparation and you're going to mark yourself down at least 25%. You're committing exam suicide. So what do we do? We say, we even get those who say, hey, let's leave it now until SWAT week. That's why universities give us SWAT week. Sh but if you leave it that late, let me tell you, there are just not enough hours in the day to achieve what you're out to do. And that's where people get overly tired. They're trying to work 24 hours a day. They get on all the high energy drinks and pills and goodness knows what else. 
it doesn't help them because actually they've worn themselves out to the extent that they can't concentrate properly when they get to write their final exam. So here are some initial conclusions. So what we get is this, we say students fail because they start preparing for exams far too late. They leave it till well into the fourth term when exams are a month away and then they get overly tired and overly stressed. Cramming for exams is just the worst thing that you can do. What you're actually looking to do is in the days leading up to the exams, you're looking to get some rest so that your mind is at its peak when you write. We'll concentrate on that as well in later interventions in the series. Right, so that's a nice short little video. It ends off with the KFC ad again, and we can put some more stuff in there if you want. And that's how we're looking to start off on this. Nice, clean, crisp images. Just some of the things I'd like to show you. Um, for example, I rather like using the KFC red with a white background. That seems to me to work far better than white with a black writing on it. We need to get contrast into this because it gets much better when it gives a much better effect when we get into final production. So please could you just let me have a, a feedback on this as to what you think we're doing so far, and then we can take it from there. Thank you very much.